Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Good evening. Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Good night. Hello, good evening. How are Hi, you? Good evening. <laughs> hello, hello. Well, it's a pleasure to see you once again. Teacher. Yes. Uh, I'm question. Uh, ¿Cómo pudiese decir solo que eh, estaba haciendo la tarea en la mañana temprano, pero no vi que subiera eh, hijastro? Pero solo quiero saber si es, se puede. En, permíteme cómo lo escribí. Lo escribí así en. Step sum. Step sum, yeah, indeed. That's the way it is. Oh, yes, okay, gracias. That's the, yeah, in any case, all the astro astra, in this case, padrastro, madrastra, you just um, replace the name like father, mother, son, daughter, and you say a step, a stepmother, a stepfather, a stepbrother, a stepsister, and those are your, um, that's that's the, the creation that you give to the relationship, right? Hijastro, oh, okay. eh, madrastra, padrastro, etc. Okay. Okay, okay, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. yeah, you're welcome. Okay, there you see Guillermo walking around the airport. Hello, Roberto, Lisette, Catherine. Hello, teacher. Hello, Emilia, Francisco, Hazel, Tatiana, Miss Angelica, and Angel. Welcome to the class. It is a pleasure to have you here. Hello, Mr. Guillermo. Good evening as well. And today we are going to, um, to continue developing the topic of the family members. And you are going to share a little bit about uh, the description of your uh, close family, the people who live in your house, right? The little members of your families. You are going to describe that a little bit for the class. And then uh, we're going to continue learning the topic for today. Uh, today and tomorrow we are going to finish the mm -hmm. section number five. So if you haven't finished working on the platform, section number five, I need you please to do it because it is very important that we finish working on that, okay? I think you have already finished most of the sections there, but if you have any problem, any question or any difficulty, don't forget to ask, okay? Have you had any difficulty these days? ¿Han tenido algún problema, alguna dificultad en la plataforma estos días? No? No, teacher. Nothing. And who has already finished? Who has already finished working on the platform? Uh -huh. ¿Quién ya terminó de trabajar en la plataforma? I finish tomorrow. Oh, okay, you will finish tomorrow. I That's finish very tomorrow, good. teacher. Okay, very good. So if you finish tomorrow, that will be perfect. We are going to review. Uh, well, we're going to finish working on that. We're going to review on Monday to see that everything is done and complete. So please, uh, for Monday, everything should have, uh, should be done on the platform, everything, 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 because we are just going to check the exams. And on Tuesday, we are going to have an activity that it's going to be a, a little or a presentation, right? For the ones who have been with me before, they know that at the end of the module, I do an oral exam, but uh, I give you the topics and everything that you are going to be talking about. And I give you around two or three minutes for you to present. So you are going to know that uh, on Monday, we are going to check everything about the platform and you are going to report, okay? El día lunes reportamos que todos hayamos terminado la de la plataforma 
y reportamos también el progreso de las barras, que todas estén completas al 100%. Si alguien todavía eh, tiene alguna dificultad, la podemos revisar ese día. Lizeth, digo. Pero todavía no se puede generar el diploma, igual que el del principiante 3, perdón. Ok, sí, esa es una dificultad que todavía tiene la plataforma para la generación del diploma, pero la progresión, esa sí es la que llevan, la que les van marcando, ¿ok? Aún quizás no, si, no no. Les han, si no les han generado el, el diploma, pero su progreso es el que les va dando el pase para que ustedes puedan avanzar al siguiente nivel. Igual, eh, yo voy a pasar el detalle para eh, recordar esto de los certificados para que eh, ustedes los obtengan lo más pronto posible, ¿ok? Ok, yo finalicé hace varios días. Ok, sí, es igual cuando ustedes ya van terminando la plataforma, espero que ya pronto les vaya a dar la opción para generar el certificado y que ustedes ya lo puedan tener. Ok, lo que vamos a revisar el día lunes okay. es que el progreso esté completado, que todas las barras estén al 100 y si alguno de ustedes tiene alguna dificultad todavía, la resolvemos en el ratito para que todos estén listos y completos con su progreso en la plataforma. El día lunes eh, vamos a hacer eso y el día martes, que es nuestro último día juntos, es día de presentaciones orales, su última evaluación. Así que ahí eh, yo les voy a dar el tema que van a presentar el día de mañana para que se preparen el fin de semana y que tengan ahí todo listo el día martes. ¿okay? Hay que hacer carteles, una maqueta, eh, diferentes cosas. Y fíjese tengo, tengo un inconveniente con eso. Dígame. Tengo un inconveniente con, con la presentación de la evaluación porque ese día trabajo hasta tarde. Ah, entonces, Me toca cierre en el trabajo. Entonces Lisset nos va a presentar un día antes. El día lunes nos va a presentar Lisset <risa> para que no pierda no su nota. Salvo. No, nadie. <risa> ¿Sí? I have a question. Okay. Question me. Yesterday... Eh, yo, bueno, me quedé en el trabajo como hasta las nueve, uh -huh. pero no, no sé si explicó el día de el día de ayer que hay que hacer una presentación o algo para. Se las voy a dar el día de mañana. Mañana les, ah, entrego, okay. el, mañana les entrego el tema que van a exponer, las preguntas y todo para que estén listos. ¿Okay? Okay. Pero la presentación es el día martes. Para Lizeth okay. es el día lunes. Y si alguien tiene algún problema para hacerle el día martes por sí, chera, cuestión de cuatro. trabajo, la hace el día lunes. Dígame, Francis. Entonces, en español, eh, martes sería el último día. Sí, martes es nuestro último día juntos. Ese día vamos a hacer una despedida aquí con sándwiches y horchata. Así que Ángela va a recoger los Eso. dos dólares. Ahí los anota Ángela, Ángela va a recoger los dos dólares de, de la despedida. Y vamos a jugar amigos secretos. Nos vamos al de cámara. ¡Yay! Pues no nos alcanza con dos. Ah, pues reúna 50 por cabeza. Ok. Yes. Por eso es chivo wallet. For sure. El día martes es nuestro último día juntos. Eh, ahí sí es nuestro día de llorar. Ah, no, we're going to have a, a very good day. And the, the end, uh, in the end, I hope you have had a very good experience here, learning the different things, the different topics that I have been sharing. And for sure, my dream is to find you later in the next module. That's, that's my, my dream all the time, to find my students in the next modules. And I made it this time, and that was very good. In the next module, ¿cuándo inicia? I am not inicia? sure, but I think you have like three or four days off. You have like a mini vacation between the modules. Y se, y se, o sea que sí estudiaríamos en, en December. I told you that we are going to have the, the stuffed bread here. You are going to have your bread, your soda, and you are going to be here in the middle of 24's party in the class. No, I don't really know. I think you're going to have this little break for vacations and then you continue, right? But for me, I can be here in El 24. 
Happy New Year, students! In the in 31 here, we're going to be sharing. Now, I know you're going to have like this little holiday break, but um, when you finish this one, I think you're going to have a couple of days off and you start the next one. So, uh, you're not going to have a lot of vacation, don't worry. Well, my dear students, yesterday we were talking about family members. Today you are going to share about your little families, the people who live in your house, right? And for this, we are going to make first a little practice in the rooms. I am going to send you to very small groups, like three or four groups. And you are going to share with the people on the groups uh, all the members of the family who live with you. For example, you can say, well, I have a small family or I have a big family in my house and I live with my mother, my father, my wife, my brothers, my sisters. I don't know, the people who live in your house, not all your family, because if we start sharing about the complete family, my goodness, my father has 10 brothers and sisters and my mom has like 10 sisters. So we're going to end up all the night. No, only the people who live in your house, okay? That's what you are going to share on the mini groups. And when we come back, I am going to, I am going to choose around six to seven volunteers for you to describe the members of your family, okay? Let's go to the rooms to practice. And then when we come back, you are going to share here, okay? So accept my invitation to go to the rooms. Let's go. We are going to practice the members of our family. Go ahead. Okay, accept my invitation, please, to go to the rooms. Rebecca is missing. Okay, Rebecca, accept my invitation. There you go. Okay, so all the students are in the different rooms. They are discussing about the different members of their family. They are going to come back and they are going to present when they come back how their families are uh, composed and what members uh, do they have in their small families at home. Okay, so let's go and check how they are doing. Niece, niece, my niece, perdón, care my niece here. Oh, care my niece, my niece here. Aquí. Care. My niece here. Here. Okay. What is the sentence that you want they to take, express? They take care. I think it's they. If you want to say that. Ellos cuidan ahí a su sobrina. Is they take care of my niece. They take care. Here, I don't know if that is the sentence that you want to express. Yes, is. Es, eso quería decir que cuidan de su, de su sobrina. ¿Tatiana? Okay, okay, good. ¿Quién era Emilia. la que estaba hablando? Emilia. Emilia. En, en, en su yeah. casa, en su casa cuidan a su sobrina. Sí. So they take care of my niece here. Repeat, please. They take care of my niece here. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Continue, continue. Okay. Continue. <laughs> uh, only. <laughs> I see you. Me, uh, in my care, in, 
me, I, I, I'm going to continue. In my case, I, about my family, I can say that uh, it's a big family, family because I have uh, seven brothers, uh, but excuse me, three, three brothers and four sisters. And my mom and my dad is still alive uh, already. And um, I can say that we are um, a happy family. I think <laughs> it's a bigger, it's biggest. It's, it's, it's bigger, it's biggest. No, mm -hmm. como se, it's big, you know, it's big, are big, excuse me, uh, my, fam my family are big. So you say, uh, it is a big family, you say. It, it is, is a big family. A big family, huh? That's the way family. you do it. Okay. <laughs> seven, seven family. siblings. Three Soon. brothers and four sisters. Yes. Oh my God, that's a big house. What? <laughs> yes. Continue. It's a big house. Continue, my dear students. I'm going to go and check the other book. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. My father with my sister. I live with. Teacher, I question. Yep. Eh, para decir esta mi familia está compuesta por. My, my family, family is made of. Made of. It's made of or it's composed by. Okay. I think Pero it's decir, easier. Made of. Pero decir este, my family is big. Eh, sería, está compuesta por. My family is made of. My mother, my father, my sister, and then you start listing. That's, that's a word you use. It's made of. Está compuesta por. Made of. ¿Cómo se escribe mm -hmm. eso, teacher? Made exactly like like when you do something. I'm going to I'm going to send it on the chat. It is made of or it's composed by. Sería my my family made of. My family is made of. Ah, is. Because I use it because I was referring in general, right? My family is made of my mother, my sister, my brother, my and all the members, right? If you want to make it simple, you can say the members of my family are, and then you start, right? My mother, my sister, my wife, my husband, etc. right? You have the two options there. Okay, continue. Okay. okay. Thank you. Sobrino, ¿cómo se dice? No me acuerdo. Nephew. 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 Ah, okay. Nephew. 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 Okay. ¿Verdad que cuñado sería sister-in-law, verdad? La esposa de mi cuñado. A brother in law is cuñado. Uh -huh. Sister in law, law is cuñada. Okay. Pero se menciona, digamos, digamos, ellos son los la de parte de mi esposa, ¿verdad? Yes. No cambia, ¿verdad? Yes, they don't change. Okay, okay. In law se dice, ¿verdad? Brother in law. Uh -huh. Brother in law and sister in law. Ah, okay. Exactly. Thank you. Okay. Who is going to describe their family? ¿A quién le toca describir a la familia? ¿O ya estuvieron todos? Uh, voy, voy, okay, voy. Go ahead. <laughs> I go. Um, ¿Quién me pregunta? Can, hey, you, uh, can you tell me a little bit about your family? <laughs> oh, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Oh, este, my family is big. Uh, my family is made of uh, my wife, my daughter, my father-in-law, my mother-in-law, my sister-in-law, and my niece. ¿Y se pronuncia? Sobrina. My niece. Uh -huh. It's correct. Uh -huh. And my niece. Good. Very good. Continue the next one. 
my family is small. My family. <laughs> ah, what a beautiful thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> what a beautiful cat. It's very big. That's another yeah. member of your family. Yes. <laughs> what is the name? Fifi. Fifi. Hello, Fifi. <laughs> Hello, Fifi. <laughs> She's very cute. So that's another yeah. member of the family. Can yeah. you, who is describing the family? Or did you all finish? Did you finish describing your families? Yes. yes. Okay, let's see. An Angela, describe your family. My family is, uh, is big, mm -hmm. I think, but I live with my mother. Uh -huh. She is degree in business administration. Okay. And I live with my stepfather. Okay. He's a counter. He is an accountant. Uh -huh. He is an accountant, sorry. And I live with my brothers. Uh, I have five brothers, but I only live with four. Okay. Two, two brothers and two sisters. Well, uh, two of them are kids and the others, one, my sister is a teen, a teen uh -huh. and my brother and me, we are adults. An adult, adult, adult. adult. Uh -huh. and I live also. I live with my grandmother. She sells chicken in San Miguelito Market. Oh, really? Yes. Hey, that's that's nice. It's very close to my house. Really? Yes. <laughs> oh. Okay. She she sells chicken in the San Miguelito Market. Hey, yeah. that's good. Cool. But you don't live in Colonia Magaña. No, no. Ah. I live. I live. I was in like, what? <laughs> you are. You are my neighbor. I said, <laughs> and I don't know. <laughs> it has happened before <laughs> that the person is like, "Hey, you're my neighbor, and you're my teacher." And it's like, <laughs> and I didn't. Know. <laughs> no, I live in Mexicanos. Hey, that's cool. We're going to have discount in chicken for Christmas. You see, <laughs> pan con chicken. Yeah, we're going to go well, and, and get. It's tough breads, it's tough breads. Good, thank you, Angela. My God, you have a very big family, indeed. Yes. Okay, very good. Um, well, I am going to go and check the last group and we're going to go back to the main session, okay? Practice because okay. we're going to come back. <laughs> Did you finish describing your families? Yes. Okay, who can give me one example okay, of what you uh... were doing? I have a small family, uh -huh. my wife, uh, my wife's name is Morena, uh -huh. my two sons, my son's name are Diego and Adrián, and me, Good. and two cats. And cats, okay, that's your family, right? Small, yes. nice, that's very good. Another example of a family. Hazel, can you help me with your example of your family? Yes. Go ahead. Okay. My husband's name is Stanley. Mm -hmm. He is uh, four years old. He is four years old. Uh -huh. He is four years old. He is a uh, export agent. Uh -huh. he, he works at home online. Hey, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we have a son. Mm -hmm. His name is Alejandro. He has eight years old. He is. He is eight years old. He is eight years old. And we have a dog. Very good. And you have a dog, right? Dogs are members of the family as well. Very good job. So right now we are going to go back to the main session. We are going to back to go back to the room and I am going to ask some volunteers for you to express the different relationships that you have with your family members and describe the family that uh, lives with you in your house, okay? So we're going to go back right now to the main session 
and be ready because maybe you are going to be one of the chosen ones who is going to be presenting there, okay? So let's go back right now. I am going to stop the sessions for us to go back to the main room, okay? There we go. There you go. All the students are going to come back from their sessions. Okay. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Okay, we're going to choose some students to present about their families. The last ones to connect are going to be the lucky ones presenting. Ooh, you are safe and sound. They're going to finish in three, two, one seconds. There. The last ones to connect are going to present. <laughs> there you go. Okay. No, I am kidding. I need first five volunteers and I am going to choose five other volunteers to present about their families. Volunteers, hands up. Or you show me your hand on the camera, that's okay. Volunteers. Only five, okay? If not, I choose them. Thank you, Eric. You are going to be the first volunteer presenting about your family. Who else? I have Mario, Jonathan, Josue, Eric, and two more. I need two more volunteers. Mr. Okarchakon wants to present. I can feel it on your face. And also, let me see, Mr. Guillermo. Yeah, I haven't listened to your voice today. So only boys are presenting, okay. Eric is starting, go ahead, Eric, please. Okay. Um, my family, my family is big. My family is made of my wife. Her name is Brenda. My daughter, uh, her name is uh, Emily. Uh -huh. My father-in-law, his name is Salvador. My mother-in-law, her name is Janet. My my sister, my sister-in-law, her name is Dalila. And my niece, her name is um, Dalila Junior. <laughs> Dalila, <laughs> Dalila Junior. <laughs> okay, very good. So that's your family. Very good. Thank you, Eric. Reactions for Eric. Very good. Thank you very much for presenting about your family. Thank you, Mr. Mario Barahona. Go ahead. I have a small family. Uh, my wife, my wife's name is Morena. My two sons, my son's names are Diego and Adrian. Me and two cats. Very good job. Thank you very much, Mr for sharing about your family. Thank you very much. Mr. Jonathan Josue, action. Okay, uh, my family is small. I live with my father. His name is... His name? No, sorry. His name is uh, Manal. Uh, also, I live with my mother. Her name is Rosario. And my sister, her name is Esmeralda. Okay, um, yeah. very good job. Excellent. Thank you very much for presenting about your family. Thank you very much. Let's go with Mr. Oscar and then Mr. Guia. Okay, I can tell about my family. It's, uh, it's a big, 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 sorry, it's a small family. Uh, I live with my wife. Her name is Veronica. And I have two daughters. Uh, one is Veronica Junior. She's uh, 
14 years old. And my little daughter is Sophia. She is eight years old. It's all. <laughs> Only, okay, Mr. Oscar. Okay, I have my microphone off. I thought my microphone was off. So yeah. you have two daughters. Yes, so it you is. say Mr. Jonathan has two sons and you have two daughters, right? It's like <laughs> you are looking for yes. the boy and maybe she's looking for the girl. <laughs> Very complicated. <laughs> it's, possible. <laughs> it's possible. Mr. Guillermo, thank you, Mr. Oscar, for sharing about your family. Thank you very much. Mr. Guillermo, go ahead. Uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, well, uh, my family is so small. Uh, I only live with my wife. Um, my wife's name is Marina. Um, we don't have any children. And we live alone. <laughs> Near from my mother's home, but... Oh, and you don't have any pet, cat, dog, anything? Yeah, we don't have any pet now because we are... Well, um, in January 16th, uh, we get uh, married. Ah, so so you are you are yeah. fresh freshly made. So it's a very new family. Well, yeah. wait, <laughs> wait. It, it is going to grow as soon as you. I mean, it, it all happens in one second, right? Yeah, I remember that four years ago I said like, no, it's only my husband and me. And now, with the kid, with one dog, it's like a, a big thing. And it's like, hey, cuando pasó todo esto, right? Honeymoon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honeymoon. No, believe me, we spent like five years after we got married and we didn't have uh, kids. And we said, maybe we are not having any. And <laughs> surprise. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> Don't, never trust anything. <laughs> 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 surprise. <laughs> No, but we're very happy. We're very extremely happy with, with Alexander, right? It's such a fun. So, uh, very good. So, Catherine was presenting us her little baby as well. It's a very big cat, like a lion. It was very beautiful. That's the point. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you very much for sharing about your families, big or small. They are all very beautiful. So, I have here... Thank you very much, Mr. Guillermo and Mr. Oscar, for sharing about your family members. I have here the presentation for the day. Well, we, were, we have been reviewing the different names of the family members and for sure the different relationships that we have, right? And in here, I have a little family tree, how the family is composed, where, we, where do we come from, right? In this case, we have the grandmother and the grandfather on top right? We have grandfather and grandmother. Here we have mother. What is missing here? Father. 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 For sure. If they have brothers and sisters, they are aunt and uncle. 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 So we have here, we have the husband and his wife. 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 The brother and sister. Sister-in-law. Sister-in-law. The brother and the sister-in-law, right? In this case, by the one that they have here and the kids we have niece and nephew, nephew. That, nephew. Are, that are the kids of your brothers right brothers or sisters aunt and uncle and for sure Theresa in this case will be your cousin right cousin. your cousin no in this case uh, yes she is yes she's your cousin she's because cousin. she's the daughter of your aunt and uncle and in this one, what is the name of the grandfather? Chris. Andy. 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 Andy is the grandfather. What is the name of the uncle? The uncle. Manuel. 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 Good. Very Manuel. good. What is the name of uh, Sam's wife? Yumiko. 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 And what is the name of Sam's father? Chris. 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 Very Chris. Good. What is the name of Sam's brother? Jim. 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 What is the name Jim. of Sam's niece? 
Kelly. 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 So in this Kelly. case, you say Kelly is Sam's niece, right? You can also make the relationship like that. And this is what you were creating, right? Your family tree. You say like the name of your grandparents, the name of your parents, your brothers, sisters, and so. Tell me, who has the biggest number of brothers and sisters? Who has the biggest number of brothers and sisters? I have five. You have five. Okay, Angela has five. Who gives more? I'm two. You only have two, Mario. Okay. Yes. Okay, Angela is winning. Who has <laughs> who has the most brothers and sisters? I, I, have, I have eleven. Five sisters. Ah, okay. And three <laughs> and two uh -huh. brothers. Okay, so you have okay, Lisette, in total, how many do you have? I have four sisters and three brothers. Seven. So sorry, Angela. Lisa uh, one Eric, brother and one sister. One brother and one sister. But Eric, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have eleven <laughs> brothers. Um, uh, six brothers and five sisters. Oh my god. Wow, big family. <laughs> they are twelve. Twelve. So one you are twelve. Oh my goodness. Faltan cuatro. Oh my god. <laughs> How many restrooms did you have? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine in my house we were three, three. Am I? I mean, four, I have, I have one brother and one sister, right? Four, and we were only three. Four brothers, four, four brothers died. Oh really? Oh my goodness! But mm -hmm. and, it, it, even with that, you are a big family. Yeah, fifteen, fifteen brothers. Oh my goodness! Pobre señora. <laughs> I think we have a winner. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, Eric. <laughs> Holy power of God. I have only one kid and I get crazy with him. <laughs> Imagine with 14. <laughs> well, but you are a very happy family. You are very big. Good. Who has the most number of pets? I only have one dog. Who has the biggest number of pets? I have two cats. Two cats, aha. Uh -huh. Who gives more? Mm -hmm. Two cats and one dog. Two cats <laughs> and one dog. Okay, no. you're winning. Who gives more? I have uh, one dog. One dog, okay. Catherine is still winning. Who gives more? Three cats. Three cats, you are tied. Who gives more? <laughs> one cat. One cat, okay. Catherine is still winning, and also Francisco, right? You have three cats. I have, I have a lot of ants in my yard. Ah, ants. <laughs> I have a lot of geckos. <laughs> okay, three cats, three cats. You are the winners there, definitely. And who has the biggest number of children? I have two. You have two. Uh -huh. I have two. Two boys. You have two. Two boys and Oscar, two girls. Who <laughs> has who has more than two children? No? No. 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 Right. And the other ones, we don't have only one or, or anything. So, tight. <laughs> Nadie ganó el calendario. <laughs> ¿Cómo dice empate? Tight. T-I-E-D. Yes. This is tied, yes. Tied, como el no, tied, com no, no, like, like corbata, tied. Uh -huh. T I E, okay. tied. Okay. Uh -huh, tied. Uh -huh, tied. But uh -huh. it, as I said in past, it's tied. It, right? Estamos empatados. Tied it with ED. Good, very good. Excellent. Thank you for sharing. Y cansado, que no es parecido. Tired. Mm -hmm. No, that is tired. <laughs> tired. It's like this. Tired. I'm going to send it on the chat. Tired is cansado. Tight is tired. And also, oh. if you are talking about the clothing, tight is corbata. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, good. The, the context is going to give you the idea. Okay, let's continue here. You were sharing about your family. 
And now I have here some families uh, from famous people. Do you know the relationship of them? No. Uh -huh. mm. Any relationship that you recognize there? Enrique Iglesias and Julio Iglesias. What is the relationship? Uh, father and son. Father and son. son. Father and son. Father and what son. about Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta Jones? What is the relationship? Catherine Zeta Jones is Wi-Fi Michael husband and Douglas. Wi-Fi. It's husband and wife. Good. Husband and wife. Enrique and Julio are father and son. What about Francis Ford Coppola and Nicolas Cage? No idea. <laughs> no idea. Nicolas Cage is his nephew. Oh. And Annette, Annette Benning and Shirley MacLaine? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh -huh. You don't know. Yeah. They are sisters in law. Oh. They are oh. sisters in law. And they are very similar. But imagine there, Mr. Michael Douglas with Catherine Zita Jones, with their husband and wife. Right? Good. Do you know, do you know any other famous relationships like this that are like the two of them are famous? Chris Hemsworth and Liam Hemsworth. And are what is uh -huh. brothers. Are brothers? Good, very good. Any other relationship of famous people that you know? Mm -hmm. <coughs> David Beckham and Victoria, his wife. Uh huh. David Beckham and his wife, right? What about yeah. Jennifer Lopez and Mark Anthony? What was the relationship? Ex. Ex wife. <laughs> ex wife, right? The ex wife. Good, very good. So, the in mother, this. The mother of children. <laughs> the, the mother of the children. <laughs> we are only together because of the children, they say. Mm -hmm. All, yeah. Only in El Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> we, we live together because of the children, they say. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. sí. <laughs> Todos estamos juntos por los niños, they say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't, don't believe on that one okay so here we have joseph is maria's uncle so if we want to express this relationship into a different way we say maria is joseph's niece if i say for example liz is married to peter how would you transform this sentence using peter at the beginning peter is Peter is Liz, Liz, the husband, the Liz, 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 husband, husband, very good. Peter is Liz, Liz, husband, right? Husband. Peter is Liz's husband, right? The king had a cousin. The Liz, the Liz, the Liz. Question. Yes. Eh, te lo voy a decir en, en español. Cuando digamos eh, el nombre de la de la otra persona termina con S. ¿Cómo sería? Decimos, Peter is Damaris is husband. Oh, good. Damaris, like this? Uh -huh. Okay, in this case, you don't have to add another S. What you only add is the apostrophe. Right? You only add the apostrophe here. Let me find it because I lost it. There you go. Damaris, right? You only put the apostrophe. You don't say the maris. Uh -huh. Esa era mi pregunta. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. I can say, for example, I'm going to create a sentence. And I'm going to use my mother's name, right? Carmen is the uh, maris. I'm going to say the maris. The maris mother. Mm, okay. okay. Thank you, and teacher. And you only do it like that. Okay. What about this one? I am single. How do you say this sentence into a different way? I am forever alone. <laughs> I, am I am not married. I am not married. Very good. Maria. Don't do it. It's a <laughs> We have two children. We have two children. 
we had um, we have a son and daughter. Son and daughter. Okay, very good. Because we have a song and, and a daughter. daughter. And a daughter. Good, very good. And my wife's father is a painter. My father-in-law is a painter. Very good. So you say, my father-in-law is a painter. My father-in-law is a painter. Good. And the last one. Michael does not have a job right now. Look for. Michael is looking Michael is for, 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 a job. for a new job. Michael looking. is looking for a job. new job. Michael is looking for a job. Okay. So if I ask you about what your family members are doing right now, what will be your answer? Choose about one family member and tell me what he or she is doing right now. For example, my mother is watching TV. What are your family members doing? My little I, brother is eating. He's eating pizza. Good. Uh huh. The rest? My mother is watching TV too. My mother is watching TV too. Good. Another example. Uh -huh. What are the other family members doing? My son is playing with my cell phone. My son is playing with my cell phone. Good. Uh -huh. Another example. My son is playing video games. My son is playing video games. Good. Maria Amanda, what are your family members doing? My sister is watching TV. My sister is watching TV. Very good. Angelica, what are your family members doing? My mother is watching TV. Good. Roberto, what are your family members doing? Roberto is cooking something <laughs> because he's not here. Ah, he's yeah. here. <laughs> Hello, Roberto. Hello, teacher. What are your family <laughs> members doing? My family is short. No, no, no. What are they doing? ¿Qué están haciendo ahorita? Uh, my father watch, watch TV and my He's sister. watching? He's watching TV and my sister, she stay in her room. My sister is in her room. And you, what were you doing? <laughs> Here, everybody. <laughs> Here with everybody. Guillermo, what is your family doing right now? My wife is sleeping now. <laughs> She's just sleeping right now. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Let me see. Francisco, what are you doing right now? You don't have your camera on. Mm -hmm. I study class, English class. I am studying in the English class. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mr. Jonathan, you don't have your camera on today. What are you doing? I am in the room. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, no more questions. No more questions. Okay. <laughs> no more questions about what you are doing. It's my it is el uh, capaz que my wife and my niece is the movie horror. Ah, they are watching horror movies. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Let's continue. We're about to finish. Don't worry. Ten minutes. <laughs> it says the conversation. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I am not sure. She is working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, no. My sister is away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother is traveling in the Amazon. What an interesting family. And my mother is watching TV. <laughs> okay. Repeat after me. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. 
Tell me about your sister Sue. sister Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Well, well my, my sister, sister works, for works for the government. government. Oh, what does she do? Oh, oh what, what does, does, what she, does do? she do? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure. sure. Not sure. sure. She's working on working a very a secret sec project right now. No. She's working She's on a very, very secret project right, right, right now. Wow, and what about your brother? Wow, wow. what about, wow. Your, about brother? your brother? Yeah. About your brother? brother? He's a wildlife photographer. He's a He's wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. What an interesting, what an interesting family. family. Interesting family. Can I meet them? Can, Can I, I meet, meet them? them? Meet them? Oh no. Oh, oh no. 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 Oh no. My sister is away. My sister is away. She's not working in the United States this month. She's, She's not, not working, working in the United, United States, States this month. month. And your brother? And, and your brother? brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. He's, He's traveling, traveling in the Amazon. Amazon. Good. Questions for everybody. Where does her sister work? Govern. Complete sentence, please. She works in the government. She works in the she government. She works for the government. What is the profession? What is the profession of her brother? The uh, he's a wildlife photographer. Wildlife photographer. Where does where does Sue live? In the United States. In the United States. She lives in the United States because she says that she cannot meet them because they are not in the United States this month. And where is her brother? He is traveling, traveling in, in, the in the Amazon. Amazon. Very good. And what is her sister working on? She's working on a secret project. Very good job. Now, here in these sentences, we have a specific forms of ing. For example, here when you say she is working on a very secret project, right? She is not working in the United States. And here you have sentences with ing. Situations that are happening right now. What is she doing right now? Well, she's working on a very secret project. She's not working in the United States. Maybe if the brother is a photographer, what do you think her brother is doing right now? Taking photos. Take photos. <laughs> taking photos, <laughs> right? She's taking photos. And if the sister works for the government, what do you think she's doing right now? If she's working for on a very secret project, she's working on a very secret project. What do you think she's doing right now? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's, she's creating, I don't know, a Bitcoin city. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if the brother is traveling in the Amazons, what do you think he's doing right now? If the brother is traveling in the Amazons, what do you think he's doing in this moment? He's taking a photo. Walking. walking. He's walking, he's taking photos. He's taking a photo. She's taking, he's taking photos of animals, maybe. We never know, right? Very good things. But those Very are things. Totally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's working on uh, what he loves. So what do your family members do? We are going to go back to the rooms and you are going to share a little bit of the professions and the activities that your family members do. For example, if you say, my mother is a housewife and uh, she loves cleaning, cooking, organizing things, etc. Or if she says, um, my husband is an accountant. He takes care of the accountability of the enterprise, right? We're going to go there for only one minute. So you have to share in a very quick way. What do your family members do? 
Okay, what do your family members do? And let's go to the rooms right now. Like for one or two minutes, share about what your family members do. Go ahead. Accept my invitation to go to the rooms. There you go. Share a little bit of what your family members do. There you go. Mr. Roberto, your invitation for the rooms is awaiting. There you go. My students are going to be in the rooms just for a couple of minutes. They are going to be discussing about what their family members do. And I am going to bring them back in a second so they can share with everybody. Let's just check and wait. I am going to go and check on the first group. I live with my father. Hi. Um, okay. My mother, um, she is cleaning, cleaning the house and cooking. Uh, take care. They take care of my niece. Taking care, say taking Take, care. Taking care of my niece. Okay, and what are their professions? What do they do? Eh, only, ¿cómo puedo decir? Solo cuida la casa, se queda en casa. Uh, she's a housewife, you say. She's a housewife. That is the most difficult job, believe me. <laughs> she is a ha housewife. She what? She is a housewife. She is a housewife. Yes. And what about you, Oscar? What do your family members do? Okay. Um, my wife, uh, she is a housewife. She is cleaning the house, um, washing the clothes, uh, cooking, and she take care, taking care of my daughters mm -hmm. um, and all of the house. <laughs> okay, yeah. good. <laughs> and and my, she has a lot of work to do. Definitely. <laughs> yes. And my son, my daughters, uh, yeah, she studied. Uh, just, they, are, uh, they are students. They are students. And in this moment, there are no class. Uh, they are on vacation. They are on vacation. That's cool. And they play all day and molest them a montón. <laughs> <laughs> they play a lot. Good. And lot. let's see the last yeah. one. <laughs> they play a lot, they say. Mr. Francisco, what do your family members do? Um, ta -ta -ta -ta. Bueno, uh, my wife. Uh, Housewife is a housewife. Mm -hmm. And my, my three daughters are students. Students. Okay. Well, my dear students, let's go back to the main rooms. Okay. I am going to bring my students back because we are about to finish. Thank you very much, my dear students. I hope you have shared with your friends on the chat rooms. And we are going to stop right here. Tomorrow, we're going to finish working in the present continuous topic. And we are going to talk about the different activities that the family members do and also how to use the present continuous in sentences, okay? So have a beautiful night and I'm going to see you tomorrow for another class. Take good care of yourself.
night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye.